Greed really takes you to the edge, doesn't it? Mm. That's not what greed does. That's what greed is. Well, I was really looking forward to The Counselor for a number of reasons. I'm a big fan of Ridley Scott. He's a terrific director, works in all kinds of different genres, and always delivers. And it is the first screenplay ever from the great Cormac McCarthy. This is his first screenplay, his first attempt to write directly for the screen. I thought this would be unique and different. And what a cast. Michael Fassbender, Penelope Cruz, Javier Bardem, Brad Pitt, Cameron Diaz. This is one of the best cast of the year. So what went wrong? I don't know. I have to blame the script. I'm sad to say Cormac McCarthy has written a very convoluted story. Not uninteresting, but almost incomprehensible at times. Uh, the basic story has Michael Fassbender playing the counselor. That's the, all you know of his name, basically. He's a lawyer who gets caught up a way, way over his head in a drug deal gone very, very bad, uh, dealing with the cartel. He's a nice guy who uh, gets in deep and, uh, you know, probably shouldn't have gone there. But once he does, his whole life starts to unravel as he meets all kinds of different people and goes down deeper and deeper and deeper into the abyss. I had a call from our business partners. These people are out 20 mil. They think we're all involved, don't they? No. Just you, counselor. Michael Fassbender is not the problem here. He's a terrific actor, but what he's asked to do is a very difficult role to pull off. This movie starts under the sheets. Quite frankly, it should have stayed there because once it gets out, it really becomes very hard to follow. At least it was for me. What is great about it, though, are a lot of game actors who are absolutely terrific in the movie doing what they can with the material. And that includes Javier Bardem, who is sort of his uh, confidant and partner uh, as he gets involved in this deal that goes very, very bad. What do you think I should do? I don't know, Counselor. I don't know. Javier Bardem is alternately very funny and uh, kind of tragic in this movie, but he's, he's always interesting to watch. Of course, he won an Academy Award for one of Cormac McCarthy's movies, No Country for Old Men. He is hooked up with Cameron Diaz in the movie, and she is a sociopath. This is actually one of the better things I've seen her in in a few years. What about confession? Yeah. Does the priest ever ask you about sex? He doesn't ask, but you're supposed to tell him everything. I suppose you've done something like really nasty. She is totally convincing, and I have to tell you, even though this movie is not very good, there's one scene that is worth the price of admission, and it involves a convertible, a windshield, Cameron Diaz in a very short dress, and a gymnastic move across that windshield that I have never seen in a movie before. Uh, people will be talking about this scene the same way they talked about Sharon Stone's famous interrogation scene in Basic Instinct. So yes, worth your 12 bucks just to see that scene. It's really, uh, it's really unique. Uh, but the rest of the movie, I don't know. Brad Pitt, I know Brad Pitt got his start with Ridley Scott and Thelma and Louise. Maybe he's doing him a favor here, but he plays this incomprehensible character who's always spouting off philosophy and things. He's sort of the connection to the cartel for the uh, Fassbender character. But their scenes just go on and on and on and really go nowhere. What a shame, because beautifully shot, a Ridley Scott movie is nothing to sneeze at, a Cormac McCarthy script is nothing to sneeze at, and this cast is just uh, superb, including uh, uh, Penelope Cruz. Too bad I had no idea what was going on in this movie or why they even shot it. I'm sorry, it's a no.